Welcome back. It changed the way we listen to music, but the iPod's days are now numbered. After 21 years, Apple is ending production of the popular device, but fans claim reports of the iPod's death are greatly exaggerated. There it is, right there. It was 2001 and a defining moment in Apple's history. There is a music revolution happening right now. Nine's tech expert Trevor Long remembers it well. This device put hundreds, if not thousands, of songs in your pocket. Listening to them wherever you are, it was a revolution. The iPod was born and took the world by storm. When Apple released it, a lot of people were like, you know, why are you making something like this? And then it just absolutely exploded. Who could forget the scroll wheel and Do the high vis ads? The groundbreaking device saved Apple from almost certain collapse. Apple was fresh out of the gutters from almost being bankrupt. They bet the farm on this crazy little device and, you know, off it went and changed the world. It really is everything that came after the Mac that created the company they are today and the iPod was the start of that. Even today, music is a fundamental part of their business and the iPod created that. Scrolling through music back in the early 2000s was just a dream. This one though is probably my favourite one. Wade Nixon, aka Dank Pods, to his 1.2 million YouTube followers, says right off the iPod at your peril. I don't think the iPod's dead, I think it's sleeping. <laughs> you know. He's been showing people how to resuscitate iPods for the past two years. Off it went. I think it was by the third video it went viral and I couldn't believe it. But I guess that's the power of nostalgia, isn't it? Other technology has been declared dead and buried in the past only to find new life. Give my creation life! Gaming consoles, film camera and vinyl records have all enjoyed a retro renaissance. When you think about fashion, you know, there's a look to it and with music there's a sound to it. That's why vinyl has come back. There's, a, there's something tangible about putting that needle on a record and hearing the crackle of the vinyl. Retro gaming consoles, I think the comeback there is to relive your childhood. I wouldn't be surprised if people really start pulling them out of drawers and actually really start trying to get them going again. And when such things pass their use-by date, their value can actually soar, but only if they are particularly special. The ones that go for really crazy money are the ones still in their box. So check those cupboards and drawers. You might have a valuable piece of audio history hidden away. Yeah. 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 Technology.